Hi friends, it's Miss Alejandra from, from the Westmont Public Library. I'm gonna show you how to make a different kind of bird feeder today. So all you're gonna need is either a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll, some honey, um, some bird seed, any kind that you want is fine. I got this one just from a regular store. And then just something, some sort of placemat so that you don't get your kitchen counter dirty. So this is a really fun craft for kids, for adults. If you have any pets, it's a lot of fun for them to sort of look out the window and see what kind of birds come or squirrels. Um, and if you're interested in making this a slightly longer activity, then you can check out some of our bird books on Hoopla, either like a picture, like a regular uh, picture book or a nonfiction book to see what kind of birds you can notice in your backyard or wherever you're putting these. I know that in our house, we tend to get a lot of cardinals and um, some other birds. So I'm still trying to identify the other ones, but it's a lot of fun to do that. So we're gonna just take the paper towel roll and this is gonna be a really messy craft. Just a heads up. So you're gonna take just some honey and start putting it on here. And then if you know what we're gonna do next, you guessed it, you're just gonna take this and move it around with your finger. Again, I did warn you, a very, very messy craft, but it's super fun for some younger learners. Um, if you're an adult and you just feel like getting a little messy and doing something really cool, then this is a good craft as well, especially now that it's getting a little nicer outside. You're more likely to see um, some more birds in your front yard or your backyard. We've got a couple trees around us, so it's nice to see them and hear them singing in the morning. So, yep, this is gonna happen a lot. So just take your time, be patient. It is a really messy craft, so you're gonna wanna clean some stuff off when you're done with this. So just keep going around. If you want something a little smaller, then you can either take a paper towel and cut it, paper towel roller and like just cut it in half, or you could take um, just a toilet paper roll and that'll make it a little smaller, maybe a little less messy um, to do all at one time. But for the most part, this is what you're gonna get. So you could also try and coat this in peanut butter if you'd like. Peanut butter is also pretty good for, for this craft. Um, we just used a lot with the last peanut butter craft, or the last bird feeder craft that we did. So I figured we could do something just a little different, but that'll work just as well. Just make sure that you get it a little melted. So I'm gonna wash my hands really quick and I'll show you the next step. All right, so now that our toilet paper roll is completely covered in honey, we're gonna do the next step. You're just gonna take some bird seeds and you're just gonna basically put it on here. Try and press it in with your hand. Um, and then pro tip, if you're gonna be using one of your hands to touch the roll with honey, use the other hand just to either hold your bird seed or use it to flip something else. That way it's just easier when both hands aren't covered in honey. So just keep doing this. Press it into that to make sure that it's really stuck to the roll. So we're just gonna keep doing that. Be careful to not let too many of these fall to the ground because they are a little hard to pick up if you don't know exactly where they went. So just keep doing this. All around, press it in. Depending on what kind of bird seed you have, you can get a really nice layer of coated bird seed going on here, and that means that we've got a lot of snacks for our little friends. So just keep going. All right, so I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done with that part. Okay, so now our roll is completely covered, as you can see. So now you're gonna wanna take either some yarn. This is just an old shoestring that I stole from the cats. Don't tell them. So you're just gonna take it. This part is easier if you're doing just a, a toilet paper roll, but you're just gonna take one end and just slide it through all the way to the bottom like that. And then once you've got that part, you can take this and then you're just gonna wanna tie it off at the end. Just a simple knot is fine. 
so that it can actually stick to either a tree branch or wherever you want to hang it from. We're going to hang it outside. So that's pretty good. And then you've got a bird feeder. So let's go put it outside. So now we've got our completed bird feeder. So just make sure that you pick a tree branch that's strong enough to hold it. So I'm just going to put it right here.